Okay, let's dial spin technique and dimensioning. So let's take a look at this. So this example, um, all right. So this example, yeah, um, I was supposed to show this one, but it's okay. See, like how we put the dimensioning, and this one has some tolerance, like plus or minus zero point zero two to one point four zero for this dimension from here to here. Yeah, look at the gap right there. Look at this. Yeah the length from the end of this arrow to the end of the extension line above yeah um and this is just showing you hey this is how we dimension by using tolerance yeah here you can see the tolerance right there you have a uh, different tolerance you have implied and you have what's stated so this one is stated okay next one all right this is next example so we have a look at how we change it 1.42 and then we write 1.38 see so right down here so that's your um lower you know, limit to find acceptable tolerance zone upper limit is on top lower is down yeah all right the next one here is see how we write 1.882 1.90 so the lower limit is going to precede the upper limit yeah Precise means it's right in this after 1.88, yeah? So that's the first, that's the um, lower. So this we call it linear, yeah? Um, the previous step, okay? And the very first one, plus or minus, yeah? Bilateral. Very different, so make sure you pay attention to that. Bilateral, yeah? Which is plus and minus tolerance. You're stuck, upper, lower. Linear, upper and lower. Okay, so I think you should get that done. All right, the last one we write it this way. See, only the symbol. It's kind of like stack and linear, but you have like a 1.90 for the upper. So we also have like a plus and minus. So that's what we call a unilateral. Yeah, there's one uni, and this is by so unilateral. And so plus 0 0.00 to minus 0 0.02 is your tolerance. So tolerance allowed in only one direction from the specified sites. Alright, then we get into graphic symbols and diagram on all spheres. You know? So we will use the symbols to uh, dimension the diameters and spheres. So let's see. International dimension and symbols. This is just a standard symbol that we use you know, everywhere. Um, so the very first one. Okay, so here is a diameter symbol. Yeah, so this little, yeah. Five, and then you use a 0 0.438 and 0 0.432 and then we have a leader line right there and with the arrow showing you the circle you know telling the circle has a diameter yeah this much so the symbol is going to be the same height right maybe like the size of it so this symbol has the same height as the letters in your dimension node okay well whoever make this slides the uh, author the textbook author because we have to use their slides to teach um it's not very good with text you know to, to, yeah whatever anyways okay so let's go to the next one now we have a diameter yeah symbol a little bit different here there's no s here and here see we have s meaning like the spear you yeah? so spherical diameter right here and we're going to use a different symbol which is s diameter simplified and then, of course, this is our tolerance. Then we'll get into international, another standard uh, for the radii. Next. Okay, so let's go and take a look at this. So the very first one is a radius symbol, yeah? R. This is just a review for your MUT 101. Yeah, like I said, whoever made this slide is pretty bad. I have to like fix and it takes a long time to fix um, we gotta tell the textbook um, editor to do that so anyway so radius symbol R here and then you do like zero point uh, you, you write R a big capital letter R zero point um, 
240201250, yeah? So this is your linear tolerance, of course, and your leader line, right? The end with the arrow showing you the arc, yeah? Since this is an arc, we're not going to use the diameter symbol. We're going to use a radii, okay? Radius symbol. And the next one is a radius symbol, yeah? The same thing, but here we're writing the tolerance a little bit different, yeah? And just showing you the tolerance zone. And here I got it fixed. So again, the radius zone. Up close, you see the shape is a little bit different, not the same. So uh, let's go by here. This is see perfect arc. This one, see, this is surface. So it's a little bit different because it's just a tangent to the curve. Yeah. Um. You don't have a perfect shape here. See, wiggling all around. So these are just the surfaces and the boundaries. Again, uh, when you study, don't think too much. You know? Some students want to take a long time right here, like trying to like, especially uh, international students, they do that, don't do that, okay? It's just telling you, hey, if you have a shape, you know, a regular shape, but you have something that looks like an arc, we're going to use this type of dimensioning, okay? That's about it. So make sure you keep it simple. Radius R, again, here, yeah, drawing. Your tolerance here, your interpretation, the actual feature contour, yeah, maximum radius, and then your minimum radius. See, make it a little bit like, easier for you to see it. I got frustrated like um, fixing the horrible slide. All right, when I review this textbook, I'll definitely write that down. Okay, now we get into the national uh, dimensioning symbol for control the radii, which is your ASME standard. Okay, this is just reiterating which standard that we follow for this type of symbol. ASME 1, 14.5 and 1994. We will use the radius symbol R. Okay, and we usually dimension the arc, your know, surface arc, and you have a two different types of surface perfect arc and the arc adjacent to a irregular yeah, um, surfaces. Okay, dimension symbol CR, that's your controlled radii, uh, radius symbol. See, see, that's the only new thing here. Controlled radius symbol. Drawing, we put CR, yeah? Interpretation, your feature contour, see here? And this is your maximum here and the minimum is going to like 1 minus 0 0.002 so you get 0 0.998 okay maximum 1 plus 0 0.002 so you get 1 plus 1.002 so that's your max and then this is your minimum some students get it reverse and you want to give me max right here just because that's on top of it you have to give me the minimum you know it's going to be on top yeah be very careful so anyway, that's the zone controlling the tolerance. See, I gotta fix this too. I don't know, this guy is not like really bad at like making slides. I have no idea who, um, who did slide. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, the next one is we have, yeah, um, two radii, one is regular, uh, sorry, we have two diameter, one is a regular, and one is a spherical, okay? We have three radii, and one is a regular radius, spherical radius, and controlled, okay? Radius. So here again, we uh, wrote it there for you. So hard to read them. Anyway, you get it, yeah? Okay, the next one is just showing you the example, and here you have a through, yeah, through is just going through this hole, yeah, and of course, when you look at it, the review from your MET 101 is your counter bore, yes, you also have a counter sink, this one is bore, 
The color sink is like like this way, like a little bee. Um, this one is called a board. And you have your conical surface, you yeah? know. And you have your counter drill, in which this is your counter drill, yeah. So C right there. C right here. Drill is your drill, yeah. Counter drill feature. And we're giving you the depth if you want to five go down. Of course, your um, circle, yeah, my five, and the other one is point three, yeah, which is a through through. I mean, this one is going to go through. The this one is a bigger, yeah, bigger circle right there for your comfortable uh, hand tool. So review. I try to um, uh, fix it. So in your PDF, yes, uh, just make sure you read it because the original slide is really bad, yeah. Somebody didn't look at it, I guess. I've been trying to clean this up for them. Oh, sorry. So in your PDF, if I had time, I would go back and uh, do that again for you. But it takes a long time to do it. Yeah. So when you read it, just pay attention. Like there's a mess up in your slide. Um. Okay. The next one. This one is your square feature symbol. See, it does a little square. And we use it to call the size of a feature, yeah, on the part. Of course, it's a square, so we're going to, yeah, represent the square, yeah. But this symbol we use to uh, establish the size of a true, yeah, square feature. Okay, so, um, in the exam, I'm not going to ask you, oh, what is the size of the height and width? I'm just going to ask you, like, oh, what is the square feature symbol? And you have to give me another square. Yeah. All right, the next one is um, how we're going to use this little square in the example. Yeah, here. So, the example of drawing here. And see this little, look at that. Yeah. So only one dimension is required for that, yeah, square symbol because when you look at it, yes, from this side you can see the perfect square right there, yeah. On this on this front, of course you can't see on the right side view, you can see the perfect square right here, yeah. So we'll put the label right there, little line right here, and tell that oh that is a square of zero point two five zero dimension, yeah. Alright, the next one is your core length. So the called lamp, there's no symbol, pretty much a regular extension line, see, gap, gap. And then here, yeah, there's a little bit of the lamp left on top of this um, dimension line. Of course, you put the value of dimension inside of the um, extension line. So that's a called lamp, but this is your called, yeah. Um, no special um, symbol for called lamp. See here again, so in your, in your hand, like, for some reason, I have no idea why they didn't see this thing, okay? Just um, pay attention. I have been trying to uh, fix this as I go down. We don't have time to fix all of that, you yeah? So just um, I'll just pay attention when you uh, read your PDF that they are actually one sentence. Alright, then we get into angle dimension. We're going to use a little degree in here. Degree 88.78 degree is for this angle, yeah? Angle symbol. Then we will have an angle minute and the second, yeah? See? Symbol right there. Pretty easy. Then we have our arc lamp symbol, yeah? XX and then the arc, see? So XX means that's just value, yeah? Dimension of the arc. From here to here, the length of the arc is this much. And then we'll get into the symmetry. I don't have to talk about the symmetry again again because you already knew, yeah? You already knew about that from the uh, MAT 101. Because that's a little bit different, you know, on symmetry. See, this is all my mess up here. Oh my gosh. I hate this slide. I'm going to try my best to uh, fix it for this person, whoever do, whoever do this thing. Oh my gosh. A lot of my time. Um, maybe they were like publishing, like whatever, and didn't pay attention to this, I guess. Pretty useless. Okay. Um, 
Yeah. Oh my gosh. Alright, this looks a little better, yeah? Okay, so anyway, so symmetry symbol looks like this, yeah? And look how we apply it in the object. So what's different about this uh, symmet uh, symmetry symbol is that when we do the dimensioning, see, look at that, it's right on the side, yeah? So we put the dimension on one side, okay, only. So why? Because it's a symmetry, yeah? So therefore you don't have to do two sides of it, yeah? So here, of course, now, right now, even though we have like a symmetry, we have like a different dimension, so we, yeah? So you get like uh, two different things here. And you're going to be thinking, like, well, it's not symmetry. What is it? It's because the mirror line, okay? The mirror line is not like this. The mirror line is right here. <laughs> so we are looking at the front view. So the symmetry doesn't exist on this plane. Yeah, it's on the other side. So pay attention to those kind of little, little thing. All right, symmetry, yeah? Here, now you can see the symmetry. See? In a different view, of course. And now you can see, look, look at that. Completely symmetric from this side to that side, yeah? All right, next one. So make sure that which view you're looking at, and you have six different views. So if you get one view, you know, and you're Victoria, you should be able to figure out. Of course, in your exam, we're not going to be like, uh, uh, twisting you that much, yeah? Most of my exams are pretty straightforward, even though you're not getting it. Okay, so here we go. This is just a reference dimension symbol, yeah? We all know the reference dimension from MET 101 review. So this is your reference dimension for this. And then um, here, yeah? Why? Because of the limited space, okay? So we, we have like a four different types of dimension. I already showed you how to dimension all the different types. So here we don't have a enough space so we have to put the value outside yeah right now when you're listening to me you're not getting it you gotta take time to be able to uh, look at it really fast you yeah? know right now we have to lecture like 200 pages so yeah um, going fast but when you study you need three hours of study time for one hour of lecture okay you won't get it right away directly from the lecture so don't complain all right times so x yeah so that's uh, eight of them your dimension is your diameter is 0 0.250 circle we're going to do eight through yeah um i don't have time to fix this so uh, when you see it in your pdf just when you read it just read as a one sentence okay it's not like all the bullet points i have no idea why that is happening in the slides either so anyway, so this is time bar symbol, yeah, x, and you know how to use it. Alright, the next one is your times and bar symbol, yeah, we're using on a chamfer. Here the same thing, I'm giving you a different uh, example of this object and that object, yeah. Again, that's just a, another review for chamfer, yeah, shovel chamfer. We want to use a time and bar symbol followed by, okay your angle yeah I'm just showing you so chamfer is your geometry so that's the reason why we when we write the time uh, we don't write like the repeated feature yeah repeated feature dimensioning is a little bit different from your um, chamfer telling you oh this is a feature on the object is like this okay meaning like the chamfer is 45 degree from the horizontal okay this little one because here the same thing again, yeah. You have your countersink right here, yeah. And that countersink is uh, 82 degree, yeah. That little V thing can see it from this view. All right, the next one on here. That just uh, telling you with a little C underscore right there, meaning you that dimension is not to scale symbol, okay. So here, not, yeah, right there, not scale.
We have a flat taper symbol. The flat taper symbol looks like this, yeah? So you can be able to see it. So it means that's a slope, yeah? So the slope, the formula is your big H minus the lower H. This side, of course, that side subtracted and then divided by your lamp, yeah? So you will get the slope of this. Um, and we use this symbol. Next one, showing you how to use it in an example. Now here telling you, hey, this slope is this value, and then here is your tolerance. Yeah. Conical taper. Yeah. Conical. So we have a two slopes. Looks like a little cone right there. Yeah. Diameter, of course, diameter, and then your length. How to use it? telling you oh this is a conical feature conical taper symbol is used right here with a value yeah and the ratio now we'll get into American Society of Mechanical Engineer ASME standards yeah so we usually use ASME Y 14.5 and 1994 you don't really have like a 100% agreement between the Two, yeah, standard. The very first one is your ISOs, so your international standard symbols, and the other one is your ESMEs. Yeah, um, they're a little bit different, but they're cool standards that everybody is using and pretty easy to follow too. Yeah. All right, counter sink. Some book write it counter sunk is the same thing. Yeah. And we're gonna use this symbol. Yeah. And this is your time of by symbol, 90 degree, telling you that counter sink. Um, Slope is about 90 degree, yeah? Um, the angle, yeah? Which is this little guy right there. And we already used that in ISO, but you don't really have to know this level of detail, yeah? That's just for the management. Uh, your job is just uh, to be able to read the symbol and uh, when you draw it, be able to write the symbol correctly, yeah? And again, you don't have to worry about it because it's automatic in your application. We make everything so easy. All right, uh, depth. Your yeah, depth is, or we also uh, use another word, deep, yeah, symbol. Commonly, we call it just depth. And right here, and telling you that's the depth of this guy, is zero point, that's 65, yeah. Your depth, again. Here is an example that we use, showing you the alternative method, yeah? Here the holds go straight in, and then of course N right here at 0 0.625, yeah? So your, silent, your cylinder here from this circle going in and stop at 0 0.625, okay? And this is your depth. Another one, we can be able to see this, 120 degree yeah, angle. Slightly different, yeah? It's just showing you uh, what the angle is. And then we have a spot face, yeah? A uh, spot face. Your review spot face. It's just showing you, oh, you know, there's a removal of rough, right? A cast or forge a surface, and there's a removal part here, not perfect, kind of boring yeah? in this example. So, of course, you can use a spot face symbol for that. If you have like a pretty perfect, yeah, this one is a perfect, um, yeah, uh, some a few slides ago, you have a perfect kind of board, but this one is you have a removal rough cast or forge something wrong in the process and get this, yeah? At the time, of course, you use a small, uh, small face symbol. Then, this is showing you in the example, yeah? And the same example, there's nothing changed in here. It's just trying to tell you that the depth, right? The depth of the small face, it doesn't need to be uh, specific, yeah? In the previous example, when we write the depth, we definitely um, show you know, how how much the value of that depth is. Here, it doesn't really need to be specific when you are using a small face because we know that we are 
yeah, having some formula uh, deformity right in here in the object. And that's because if if somebody yeah, uh, need to know the depth of it, we don't really write it in the depth, but just we just write it in a small face symbol. So you can know like oh, that depth is uh, from here to here, yeah, or thickness. All right. So we have a counter board here, yeah, and then of course so there's a depth, right? So when we uh, write the counter board, yeah, so it's just telling you, hey, we're dealing with the counter board, yeah, and usually we put the screw right into the counter board um, space right there. So that's just showing you the height, right, and then the depth of it. So we have our counter board and counter sink, yes, counter board, counter sink, counter sink, there's an angle, yeah, counter board, there's a depth. That's your between symbol, yeah. Don't confuse with your dimensioning or uh, arrowhead. It's not the same, the color is different. Um, you write it that way, going from C to D, right there, yeah? It means that between C and D, we have this thing going on. Alright, the next one is all around, all around symbol, not here. See, like leader line, all around the circle, yeah? So now you see, don't confuse, I said it like a leader line, yeah? because uh, a lot of the students, they forget and they thought like that, just a little line. No, there's a little circle, see, at the angle? So uh, make sure that you know that it's all around symbol. Yeah? So I give you like this picture and I ask you, what is this? And you gotta tell me, oh, that is an all around dimensioning symbol. Yeah? 